Greetings lovelies, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you on this little Emmy made how to, how to make this. Or, because it's Halloween, this. They are very cute apple cider donut holes that I've decorated to look like little black cats. This video, by the way, is part of a Halloween themed collaboration, so make sure you check out these other channels to get some more cute inspiration. So, you want to make these, you do, they're so cute. So let's go in the kitchen and I'll show you what I did. Alright, the first thing you want to do is grab your favorite two-year-old and plop them on the counter, and then just combine all the dry ingredients together. Good. I'll pack it down! Pack it down, pack it down! Mix well with the whisk and then add your wet ingredients. Apple cider! And then just stir to combine. If you're using a cake pop maker, go ahead and preheat it according to package directions, or you can use a cake ball pan as well. Then fill up the wells with about a tablespoon of batter, and I'm using a pastry bag here because I found it easier. You can also use a bag with the tip cut off. Close the lid and allow them to cook four to six minutes or until they're golden. When the cake balls are ready, just use a fork and allow them to cool on a plate before decorating. So we're gonna start by making some kitty ears by cutting the tips off some candy corn. Then using some candy melts, we're just gonna stick the ears onto the cake balls. And allow these to completely cool before dipping. To prepare our candy melts, we're going to melt them in the microwave at half power at 30 second intervals until completely melted. And I'm adding some of these easy thin melts to make the candy melts a little bit thinner. You can also use shortening. Then working quickly, completely dip your cake ball or cake pop into the candy melts and gently tap while turning them to remove the excess candy melts. When the cake balls are completely hardened, you can put on a little face. I'm just using a piping bag with some white candy melt, and then I'm just drawing a cute little kitty face. Instead of a piping bag, you can also just use a skewer that's just dipped into the white candy melt, and you might find you have a little bit more control than using a piping bag. Making a little witch's hat out of candy corn is really easy. Just cut off the bottom third, and knead it and mold it into a little disc, and stick the top on, and you got yourself a hat. And here is my kitten army, Dinty Dini, all appropriately dressed for Halloween. These donuts were inspired by some Japanese donuts that I found online. They're called Dobotsu Donuts, which are mean animal donuts. If you want more information about that, I'll put the link down in the description box. The apple cider recipe I should mention is the one that just came with my donut hole maker. I chose to buy a donut hole maker because I was going to buy a pan and it was practically the same price. I'm going to recipe test and see if I can make takoyaki with a maker too. And if that works, then I'll be killing two birds with one stone. All right, so let's give it a taste. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty good. Since I used the cake pop maker, the interior of my cake pop is much more cake-like and similar to a cake donut. There's a very nice autumnal spice flavor to it. The cake is moist, not overly dry, but certainly a different texture than traditional cake pops, not that kind of wet really sweet interior. I actually prefer this. These are actually quite similar to the store-bought mini donuts with the thin candy coating and the cake interior. The candy coating tastes pretty artificial. It tastes kind of fake vanilla, but that's what makes them taste more like store-bought donuts. Here's the cake pop version as well. All you do is, you know, it's the cat on the stick. <laughs> so that's that. That's my apple cider donut hole decorated like a black cat Halloween themed tutorial. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know in the comments below what you're doing for Halloween. I want to know. All right, toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Just take some sauce, spread it on our pizza. Okay, next we're going to take our cheese and cut it into little bits. Now that our cheese is nicely chopped up, we're going to go ahead and sprinkle it onto our pizza. All right, happy Halloween, take care, bye.